Hey y'all, um, this is Stephanie again, and I wanted to make a quick video on dating Levi's jeans. Um, there is a huge resurgence in people wanting Levi's, and the thing is, what happens is a lot of people just don't understand what is uh, actual vintage and what is not vintage, and there is a way to figure out how old your Levi's um, are and a couple of things about before I get started first of all I am NOT an expert um, there are people who are Levi specialists and that's all they do uh, for a living is look for vintage Levi's and sell them but I do have a certain amount of knowledge that I feel like I can pass on um, as far as getting even more information about how to look for older Levi's and date them I'm gonna put two articles below in the description so look for those um, another thing I wanted to point out is that everything you're gonna see is thrifted I found all of these in my local Central Florida area so I didn't buy these they are out there in the marketplace you can find them um, what I'm going to show you today is from the 80s to current um, I think it's really important to sort of show the progression um, on how they dated and tagged the Levi's over the years and last but not least if you found this interesting hit that like button and subscribe hopefully I'll keep uh, doing similar type of uh, videos for you guys to learn um, diff about different things and share some knowledge all right so the first thing is a current pair of Levi's these are actually ladies they're um, they're cropped you can find them in the stores and I actually thrifted these and what you always want to do is you can't always tell what I I don't really look at the outside I'd start digging on the inside of the pants so if you take and look at the tags right now they are usually probably about what I, I call them ribbon tags um, and they're usually three to four pieces and you can find them in the obviously sewn into the um, the waistband. Lots of uh, multiple languages. Uh, so these are used throughout the world. How to take care of them um, and all the different requirements legally to sell jeans around the world. So what you want to do is look for the tag or the ribbon that has all the numbers on it. So this has. A lot of things that I don't know what they mean but one of the things you'll notice is um, the there you want to look for basically you want to look for numbers that are four digits for dating and from what I understand this three four four nine is the country slash um, uh, factory number usually they are on the back, that same number is on the back of the tab, on the, the main button. And if you look closely, it's really, sometimes it's really hard to see, but this says three, four, four, let's see, three, four, four, nine, although it's terribly imprinted. But that's also a way to make sure that your um, Levi's are actually not fake. Um, those are some of the things that you, you would double check, but this is a real obviously a real pair and Usually around the button number is where you're gonna find the date. So I Think this CW stands for cut week, but I'm not exactly sure so don't quote me on that But what is for sure is that this is 03 16 so this was made in March of 2016 and this is obviously a very current item Okay so next, we're going to start going through a series um, based on year. Um, I've pretty much stacked these so that they are the oldest to the newest. So this is a pair of 550s, um, relaxed fit tapered leg. It doesn't have, it doesn't say made in America. So this is probably, um, you can know immediately that it's probably um usually in the i think they stopped making the u.s for standard jeans not for the specialty jeans um in the late 
ooh, I think it's like late 80s, maybe early 90s. But anyway, so this is obviously where you start first, but it's not really where you date anything. Um, the other thing too is interesting is this is actually a pair of orange tab that makes it very special. However, everybody gets excited about the orange tabs, but there are two different times where Levi's used orange tabs. There is the 70s, and then there is the 90s. Um, the 70s obviously makes it extremely rare, and you can get a really high dollar. And if you, they are in the 90s, it's still um, very unusual, and you can ask for a higher price, but it's obviously a newer item. So I thrifted this actually at one of the local bins, and let's look at the dating. So it is a five, um, these are 550s, so they're relaxed fit tapered leg, zipper, and the tag is a, what I call a paper, I guess it's sort of a papery nylon -y tag they're easy to rip off or cut off a lot of people would do that um, so it's not unusual to find that tags are missing this scratches a lot of people um, another thing to notice is it's single the last one we just looked at were the ribbons and there were what three different or four different ribbons so this is just a single tag um, another thing to look for is this uh what they call the bat wing and it's in black so you know that you're getting an older pair and then, but the key is to flip it over. So this is what they call the care instruction um, tag that was required uh, by US manufacturers, I think starting in the mid to late 70s. Um, so this always has to be um, in clothing. And for us, what we're looking for is, well, 585. So that actually is the button. And again, it's very hard to see, 585. But next to that usually is always the date. So that's the button. So this is the date, 0496. So we know that this item was uh, manufactured in the fourth month in the year 96. So this because if you do vintage as being at least 20 years old, then this is... Um, about what 20 23 years old so this is considered vintage so i can price it a little bit higher or it definitely has a uh it is has a market desirability and even more so because it has the orange tag on the back all right next so now we're dealing with a classic 501 levi's um this is really nicely broken in the one thing that you know about the older Levi's is the weight of the denim. It's, it tends to be very heavy, so it uh, lasts a lot longer. It breaks in a certain way. That's why a lot of people desire the older Levi's um, because of the feel. All right, so let's look at the back. And here is a 501, 38 waist, 30, uh, 30 length. And now in this case, it does say made in the USA. So that makes it even uh, a little more special. Some people really like to have only made in the United States. So we'll flip it back around and let's look for the tag. The problem is it's not in the waist, okay? So now you have to start digging inside the pant. And they put the um, older tags are in the actual leg. It's not on the waist. And this one wasn't cut out. Again, a lot of times these do get cut out. You'll just you'll see uh, just the tag up here, but this will be cut out because it is it's a little stiffer, and um, a lot of people get uncomfortable. So, but this is your care tag, and let's flip it over. So, you've got your waist measurement, your length measurement. Keep going down. It's a five hundred one, and then what we want to do is five 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 is actually the location or the button number. So in this case, if we go back to look at the button number, it is 555. And what makes interesting about the 555, that is the actual San Francisco um, manufacturing plant. So that makes this uh, pair of jeans pretty, um, I believe the, the Ventura Street in San Francisco was the original plant. So a lot of people look for this number. 
a lot of the newer specialty jeans that are going for a lot of money will have the 555 on the button. But in this case, this truly was made in the San Francisco plant. So we know that it is a actual product. It's, uh, it is not a fake. And now we're going to look for this number. We're jumping back in time a little bit. We, we said before that we're gonna look for a four digit number. In this case, because of the age, we're gonna find a three digit number. So in this case, this was uh, made in the ninth month and it was made in 87. So this is basically another 10 years older than the one we just looked for. So this is a real interesting specialty piece. I can ask for a little bit more. It was made in America. It's made in the 80s. Um, and it was made in the San Francisco plant. So people who uh, collect or are interested in Levi's, so th those are some of the things that they might look for and uh, pay a little bit more because um, it's more unique. Okay. So now we are on to, this is a standard, um, that I think that obviously was from somebody who owned it. Um, we got a button number 740. Usually once you start seeing the 700s, the 500s usually mean that it was made in America. If you see a 700 or any other number, it usually means it was made outside of the United States. So we've got a zipper. Well, let's go ahead and flip it around. This is your... Um, regular small e red tab no made in America um, your regular your back patch and so we know this was 740 um, now this one is a little bit different uh, we saw the one that was black um, now that's gone to red so a lot of times as you're over time I think traditionally the black is older than the red when it looks like this, but don't quote me on that because I think it's also based on the style. But usually if you see black, this printing in black in a, in a tag that's like this, it usually is going to be older than the red. So we have a, what do we got? A 505 regular fit straight leg and waist 36, length 32. So let's flip it over. Um, and we have, let's see, 740, which is right. So that's 740 is the button or the manufacturing. Um, so we know that it's not fake. And now we're looking for um, the four digits. So we've got 0899. So this pair was uh, made in the eighth month in year 99. Um, still an interesting piece. People are still going to look for that but it's not as valuable as the older. And um, also, as you know, this is a 505. Most, whoops, most people, um, the, the big star, of course, is the 501. But people like all different, um, different uh, styles of jean, so don't just assume that you only need to look for uh, 501s. All right, so here we go, next one. Now this is getting more into the 90s um, and into the 2000s. This is something you probably will see a lot in the thrifts. Um, this, you've seen this tag at the top, um, but you can't designate, you never wanna just go on this. It's nice, but it's not your answer. So let's look at the button. If we can see it, it looks like it is, ooh. These things get really washed out. So I'm not even gonna guess. It looks like 989, um, but there's no num uh, line underneath to confirm if it's uh, 686 or 989, but at least we have a number to, to reference. This is, and I am gonna dump this over if I don't uh, watch out. All right, so this is actually a little bit lighter um, denim. As Levi's started really marketing their different types of jeans, this is um, a lighter weight versus the heavier ounce um, for the older denims. And let's look at the patch. We actually have nothing on the back. So there's uh, the different patches. Um, sometimes they might be this big, sometimes they might like this. Sometimes they have a number and the, the, um, and the waist and the length. So it all changes over time, but consistently we'll always have the red tab and the little E. Um, there are ones that have the biggie, and that's a totally different level. I haven't found any of those, but if I did, I would definitely make a video. That's where the big money comes in. 
All right, so we've got a 515 boot cut and let's look at the tag. Okay, so now we um, have, again, it's that paper tag or I, got, I don't know exactly what it, but basically it feels somewhere between like wax paper. Um, you know, you're starting to get into the 90s because you've got Levi's.com um, and the people started getting their internet um, domains in the, the early 90s. We've got a 1-800 number. And then the other kicker is we have a little bit of spandex. That's the transition um, that made the jeans lighter, which I talked about. And it also made them um, keep their shape a little bit. And that's what people liked. So again, it's ch changing times, changing, um, you know, different marketing and different demands by the customer. Now, the other thing that's interesting is um, 10M. When you have a, where it breaks down into the numbers, where you've got a waist number and a length, that, ten, that is what they call men's or unisex. In this case, when you have a, um, a number by itself that is an even number, then it's in the Mrs. range or Missy's range. Um, if it is in odd numbers, it's junior. So this is a, a 10M, which means Mrs. or Missy's. All right, let's flip it over. We have uh, 889 is our button number, which we looked at. And let's see, let's go back. And uh, it is so blown out. I guess it is technically 889. So after I know what it is, I know that it is a uh, not a fake. And then let's look at the um, actual code next to it. So the button was 889. That's the uh, manufacturer's location. The assumption is that 889 means that that is the number associated with the Egyptian uh, manufacturing plant. And then it's 0606. So this was made in the sixth month and 2006. So this is a fairly new item. Um, so it's it's definitely not considered vintage, but there are people that like this combination. Maybe that they had uh, this jean in the past, they loved it, they can't find it. So there's still a market. So don't give up if it's not true vintage. Um, there are people that love their jeans, want to get back into the, what they had before. So don't be afraid to pick it up. It's just not gonna be considered vintage. All right, last but not least, this is the last one. Um, here is another back label that's a little bit different, but like I said, never just go on this. It's helpful, but you always wanna look at your number, your uh, different elements. We've got a back patch. It's one of the smaller ones. Oops, let's take that off. It's part of my coding system so I can find it again. Um, it's a 550. We've got TM by it. Sometimes you're going to have an R circle, which is a registration. Again, that sort of starts telling you about your date. Um, M means misses. And let's look at the tab. So we have a 989. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Now this is a single, um, but we've changed the material. It's that it starts going into uh, the ribbon. So it's not that uh, papery, plasticky paper that's easy to tear. And it, um, so we've got Levi's, 100% cotton. Um, this would probably designate that this is a Mexican plant. Um, and 550, relaxed fit tapered leg, 10 Miss M. I mean, excuse me, 16 Miss M, learning how to read. Um, and then let's flip it back over. You've always got your care instructions. We've got 989 which we know so that's again to check the fake and in this case it's 0203 so this item was made in the second month in 2003 so this is a fairly modern piece again all you know Levi's are Levi's people um, like their Levi's so somebody might be looking for this item so I still am going to pick it up so hopefully that gave you um, something to go on as you're trying to figure out, is this vintage, how old this is, where was it made? Um, there's a lot of information on this tag and I would always use the tag before I would use every, everything else supplements, but this is really where you're gonna get your final designation. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, as I find older or more interesting pieces, I hope to come back and um, 
do some more videos. So have a great day. And if you find any more information or you have something to tell me, um, like contradiction or something to help me learn more, I'd really appreciate that you put it in the comments. So take care and I will see you guys soon.